welcome back to my channel before we get started i would like to thank you guys for letting me hit 500 subscribers on youtube i really appreciate everyone who has supported me liked my videos engaged with me in the comments all of that i really do appreciate that today um in honor of pride month i will be doing a um rainbow cut crease i've done it before and i also even tried to do it like as a tutorial i'm um, using the p louise base but it was horrible and i thought about it i was like why did i stop doing this video when this is the you know i was doing a review on the p louise um base bases so i was like this would have been perfect but i wasn't thinking i was really discouraged so now we're gonna do it on camera. I'm gonna give y'all all the details, the facts, and let you know um, pretty much everything, the pros and the cons of this, um, these bases. Let's get into the P. Louise base. So I bought three of them. Let me put them in order, y'all. Okay. So I bought two, three, and four, and this is how they look. And as you see, three looks darker than four to me. How see that? I'm not sure. But this was the mix and match set. I think I paid $32 for them after they converted US money into, like it's pounds or euros. Um, I had heard from, I think, B. Marie that they said that it takes two weeks for P. Louise to send out your base. But on my end, it took literally like probably at the latest five days i'm not really sure but um so let's get into applying the base i'm gonna do one eye okay and i think they said a little goes a long way so we're just gonna do that much and blend it out I think another thing was that let's try a different uh, brush to blend this out. I'm gonna use this Real Technique brush. It's a deluxe concealer brush and we're just going to buff that out. I like the consistency of it. It's real, it's like thick, but not too thick. It's easy to blend. So I'm not sure. Um, I don't know based on I've watched so many videos on the P. Louise, but I'm not sure if they said it or not, said it or not. So I think I want to set this because when I tried it on the first time, it creased. It creased really bad, worse than um, my makeup revolution that I use all the time. So we're gonna set this one, okay? So what I'm gonna set it with. It's my Fenty um, Blighten, Blighten Powder. So I'll take a little bit of that and just set it. So I don't want anything to move or crease up while I'm doing this look because we're dealing with a lot of colors. So this is something that I'm doing different from the first time that I, you know, tried it. All right, so I'm going to take the matte book. Y'all don't have to see it. Y'all seen it plenty of times in my video. And let's see. I'm gonna take this flat brush right here and apply that dark purple in there. applying easier from the first time and I think that blighting powder is making the difference so I think you should set it so 
So now that I got that purple on, I'm going to put a dark pink on. But before I put that dark pink on so it won't have that harsh line when I go to blending, I'm just gonna roughen up the edges of this color right here. Just like so. I'm gonna take my Morphe M441 brush and take that dark pink shade in the matte book and apply that on top of this purple. So now to soften up this pink, I'm gonna um, switch palettes. I'm gonna use the box of crayon palettes and I'm gonna take that only pink shade in there and blend that out. kind of left so I'm gonna just go back into the matte book and apply um, a little bit more purple into my crease to cut my crease I'm going to take the P Louise shade number two since it's the lightest to cut my crease with and I'm also using a Morphe um, 224 brush I put it on both sides of my brush and I just took a little product and I'm gonna just work my way you know and to add more product if I need it <laughs> how it's drying down let's go fill it in real quick y'all so it does dry down pretty quickly with less product I feel like I probably used too much product the first time where it got um, like really cakey and it since I got hooded eyes like y'all probably can barely tell but I do have hooded eyes you see how when I open my eyes look how much less space I have when I close my eyes so I feel like that had something to do with um, the creasing, but I'm just gonna pat this, pat the product to see if it'll dry even quicker with little to no product on the lid. All right, so far it really does look good, y'all. I'm trying to see should I go ahead and apply the eyeshadow or let it dry down for a little bit I'm not sure because I um, believe when I first did this um, I put it on I put the um, base on excuse me I put the base on and then I just went into the eyeshadow so 
Oh, excuse me, y'all. I think I'm just going to wait a little bit, not too much long. Let's see. I see like a little creasing right here, but that's nothing. That's absolutely nothing. I wish I took pictures of how it creased the first time. I really want to put like a little bit more of the base on it though, so it can be wider, a little white. All right, y'all, that should be enough. So I'm gonna take my box of crayon um, palette and I'm gonna take that yellow in there and I'm gonna put that on my inner corner. So now that I'm putting the eyeshadow on, it's definitely, definitely not cracking how it did when I first tried it. So I think I figured out like the trick to this. It was horrible, y'all. I'm so glad I didn't put that video up. I would have been like, what the? This cracky mess. Get you one of these little brush cleaner things. It's like a like a sponge, and you literally just wipe it off, and then it makes your brush clean again. So you can use it for a different color instead of using like 13 different brushes to do one eye look. So I'm gonna take this orange now, and I'm just gonna put that on top. So no y'all, I have not studied a rainbow, I just know like what colors are in a rainbow, but I don't know if it's like a order or what, but I'm just literally just going off the top of my head. Alright, so now we're going to do red. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line um, the cut crease with a pink liner. I'm just going to use this NYX liner right here. 
And I think the shade is pop or something. Nope, Vivid Petal. Make sure you have a steady hand because this is like super hard for me, y'all. I don't know why our hands start to shake like when we do stuff like this. Really gets on my nerves. <sighs> about five minutes to do but um i actually kind of like it um i tried to do the best i can and it came out pretty good y'all so now i am going to do my um eyeliner i'm using the pretty vulgar eyeliner all right guys so this is the final look i hope you guys liked it so now for my final review, um, I really thought that I was going to come here and give y'all a bad review on the um, P. Louise base, but actually you just have to know how to work with them. And when I first tried them out, I really didn't know what to do. I was really going off like what I will do when I use my Makeup Revolution uh, bases. So once I figured out like, hey, this is a little bit thick, so it may take a longer, longer to dry versus my Makeup Revolution, now I know if I'm like in a rush or something like that, that I have to set the base before I put the eyeshadows on or it's going to look patchy and clumpy and stuff like that. So I did learn that. And um, what else did I learn about these bases? Um, about drying. I also learned that when you do set it, that um, it's also easier to blend out your eyeshadows. So um, I would really give these uh, P. Louise bases, um, I will say a 4.5 out of five. Um, I still am gonna work with them and see what else I can learn from, you know, using the base. How can I improve like, you know, just working with them in general pretty much. And I, if I do come along with like any tricks or anything that I learned about them, I would let y'all, you guys know. And also if you want like a second review or another review, just let me know in the comments below. But yeah, so far, um, the height is real. These actually are the shit. So you guys go ahead and pick up some if you want. This is not sponsored. I'm just saying like, hey, step your makeup game up. if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up also give me your opinions on your um experience with the p louise base in the comments down below also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like cute looks and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>